the first question we have is, uh, what do you know about astrophotography? Astrophotography? Whoa. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about astrophotography. That has to do with stars. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> you do it at night. Right. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's actually... But basically what I would say is, um, to somebody with no camera experience, or any sort of like photography experience, I'd say it's basically just taking pictures of the night sky. Just, and it doesn't have to be Milky Way, it doesn't have to be anything specific, I'd say just taking pictures of stars. And I guess like for three categories, I'd say in astrophotography, the big ones that I see are landscape astrophotography, you know, where you're using a wide angle lens, using a camera and a tripod. And then there's uh, deep space astrophotography, which is using a telescope and an equatorial mount and you're taking pictures of like really, really far away things and you're using like a very uh, zoomed in lens, so to speak. And then I'd say there's like wide field, which is basically deep space and landscape astrophotography combined. And I think astrophotography is pretty unique in the sense where you're pushing your camera gear to the extreme, you're, you're going out in the middle of the night, you're not sleeping, you're doing all these like really, really crazy peripheral aspects to get a shot that you don't really have in a lot of these other aspects of photography. All photography is, right, is capturing light. And so it's funny when you go out in the night sky, you're capturing light that's, you know, light years away of a star that you don't even know if it's alive or not. For me too, it's, it's I love the fact where you get out and a lot of times like between exposure, you're doing these long exposures, right? So you have time to sit there and think between your 30 second or your minute long exposures. And it, it's really, really uh, calm, like meditation, right? Just to be out there underneath the stars thinking while you're, everything's going. Right now, I'm setting up the motion control to do the time lapse where it pans across the sky. And then, uh, just gonna have to edit the exposures afterwards so that way it blends easily. That's about it. So right now we have our cameras hooked up to our intervalometers and basically what that's going to do is it's going to take a picture every however many seconds we set it so that in the end we can put them all together and turn it into a time lapse. Let me ask you guys, why, why do you guys like doing astrophotography? I think astrophotography at its core is capturing what you can't see and the reason why I do astro can be summed up by not only that but it shows me my place in the world when you look up at the sky you are staring at billions of other stars bigger or smaller than earth and to think those are the only ones that you can see by gazing up to the rest of the universe and as cliche as it sounds it shows you how small you actually are. But I believe the better way to put it is that it recalibrates your weight in this vast, mysterious world. The main reason I do astrophotography is because it gives me a chance to look up. We, as a generation, are always looking down, whether it be at our phones, at our desks, or even just walking around in public. People seldom take a minute to stop what they're doing and just look up. I get a minute to myself, away from all the noise, where I can just think, sit back, and appreciate our role in the universe. 